In this lesson, really good and uh, fast, and we're going to talk about uh, session configurations. To start with, I'm going to talk about basic configurations, and we're not going to spend a lot of time about advanced configurations. All of these configurations are available in php.ini file. And in the next lesson, I'm going to uh, give you the various options how you can actually change them. Uh, first of all, we have this session auto start, which is uh, going to control if the session starts automatically for every request. And the default is equal to one, I mean zero. And if you if the default is equal to zero, uh, it's going to make the application runs faster. And every time you want to uh, use the session, you need this session underscore start, which is uh, not a long line of code and to leave, I think it's, 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 it's a good practice to leave the uh, default to zero and then use the session start on every page you want to use the session. The second one, we have this uh, session use cookies and allows the session ID to be stored as a cookie. The default is equal to one. The fourth one, we have the session use only cookies. And uh, if enabled, forces sessions to use the cookie for the session ID. And uh, since PHP 5.3 or later, we have uh, this default to equals to assign it to one for security purposes. Like I said, it's gonna help uh, fighting uh, against uh, session hijacking. As, uh, as I said earlier, when you were in the coffee shop, you have this uh, problem using the same Wi-Fi and your sessions all can be hijacked. Next, we have the session use a trans SID, which controls the use of a uh, transparent session ID. If enabled, again, appends the session ID to all relative links, and which is going to be a major security risk. The default is equal to zero. And I'm going to uh, tell you in the next lesson uh, what is the good options to change it. Next, we have this session name, sets the name of the cookie that stores the session ID. And uh, as you might already seen this, we have this PHP SES with double S ID. You can change it, but there's some uh, things that you need to remember. First, the name values must contain only letters and numbers. And the next cannot only be numbers. So you need at least one letter to use this inside your name. Then we have this session safe path which uh, sets the location where the session data is stored on the server. The default is, uh, em uh, if it's empty, the default is TMT directory if no value is specified. So there's no value. If you go ahead, there is, uh, you know, something that is specified as no value, but it's gonna use your uh, system temporary directory. For example, if you're using a Mac, it's gonna use a temporary directory inside the var directory. Next, we have this session cache limiter and defines which cache control headers are sent with the page, which is going to prevent client or proxies from caching sessions and is very good for security purposes. So the default is no cache and you need to leave it like that and don't change it. Then uh, we have this session cache underscore expire, which is sets the lifetime of cached files in minutes. And uh, there's something else which you need to remember, and this is going to be ignored when session cache limiter is set to no cache. So by default, set, uh, session cache limiter is uh, default to no cache, which means that you no longer need uh, to use this cache expire. But if you want to use it and uh, change the default to cache limiter or something else, then you need to use this cache underscore expire. We have this cookie configuration. We have this session cookie domain. And uh, as a first configuration of the cookies, which limits the cookie to a specific domain, and then we have this default TMT string. And uh, for the better security improvement, set your own domain to it. So whatever your domain is, for example, .com, you can set the domain uh, in for the session dot cookie underscore domain. We have next in uh, session cookie HTTP only, which is pretty obvious. We have controls access to the cookie. And then if, if enabled, the cookie is only accessible via HTTP pr protocol. So uh, if you're using the HTTP protocol, the cookie is only accessible through them. You, you won't be able to access it through a local host or save the data in your system and use it. 
uh, which is going to reduce the cross-site scripting attacks or XSS attacks. If you don't know what they are, you can search Google it and uh, it's like an identity thief. Uh, for example, you have the web server open, uh, accessing your bank details and you, you, you forget to log, log out and uh, bank server doesn't know you, you know, doesn't expect you to browse the other page. Uh, it's waiting for you to click the link to probably send another request. So when you go to the other side, you, uh, you know, click to the fake picture, which is going to uh, transfer, for example, $1,000 or £1,000 to the uh, hacker's uh, bank account. So that's what cross-site script attack is. is is the most uh, dangerous attacks for the uh, users to be to be, to target, and uh, by default is empty or disabled. So uh, default is disabled, and um, if you, my opinion, if you set it to one, you can improve the security. So uh, don't forget the cookie HTTP only set it to one. And next we have the session uh, cookie lifetime. It's also obvious we have the set cookie lifetime in a second. The default is equals to zero. And then next we have this cookie path. This sets the path to the domain where the cookie is valid. We have this uh, default uh, uh, slash, which uh, re represent the all paths. So that's the another one you need to remember. Next we have this cookie secure. If enabled, the cookie will be sent to uh, only over the secure connection. So uh, this is something that you need to remember to enable, which is currently disabled and default is equal to zero. Set it to one if you're using HTTP secure or HTTPS. And uh, for the security improvement, I'm going to talk about a few points. The first point is you have this session use strict mode, which requires PHP 5.5.2 or later. So, uh, we are using PHP 5.5.6 uh, in this, uh, you know, video series of videos, and the default is equals to zero. And if enabled, only uh, session ID initialized by the server is accepted. So you need to re remember to enable this as well. So this is going to help protect against session fixation attacks, and and also we have garbage collections. We have GC underscore max lifetime uh, which is going to represent the number of seconds before data is considered expired or out of date uh, the default is uh, 1440 which is going to uh, represent the 24 minutes uh, so the, for the security purposes value should be as short as possible so you need to set it as short as possible maybe uh, one minute in my opinion it helps protect against uh, session fixation attacks again and uh, for the frequency, we have the session.gc underscore pro probability divided by session.gc divisor. And the default is 1%, uh, which uh, you know, indicates that for the busy servers or high volume servers, the session.gc divisor needs to be set to 1000. So this is going to help protect against session fixation attacks as well.